Hi, the purpose of this presentation is to show you how to create a table of contents in MS Word 2010. Now what I have here is a document already set up. Now before I create a table of contents, I've got to do some very specific paragraph formatting. This paragraph formatting effectively identifies the paragraphs that need to be incorporated in the table of contents. So as I can see where the paragraphs are more clearly, I'll go to Home, click on the Show Hide button, and now I can see the non-printable formatting characters. Whenever I see one of these characters, well that signifies at the end of a paragraph. Now the default paragraph formatting uh, is normally body text. I'll just do a right mouse button click over this paragraph. Click on paragraph on the pop-up menu and the outline level is body text. Very typical as a default value. And it's the same throughout the document, generally speaking. Now in this document, obviously I've got a, a main heading, a couple of subheadings, and underneath those subheadings, I've got some subtext. So, uh, defining my headings involves some very specific paragraph formatting. What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll uh, move my mouse to the left of this main heading here, or what is to be about to become a true main heading, until the mouse icon turns into a white arrow that's pointing to the top right. I'll double click selecting all of the paragraph and I'll click on heading number one and I'll make the uh, font size a little bigger which is fitting for a main heading. Now you can do that but Microsoft Word understands that this is really about paragraph formatting. So for my next one that subheading there, that can't be heading number one. Uh, it's it's uh, subordinate to the main heading. I'll make that heading number two. I'll just click anywhere inside that paragraph. And I'll go to Styles, heading number two. And the entire paragraph is formatted accordingly. Make the font size a little bit bigger. If I do a right mouse button click now over that paragraph, the paragraph formatting is level two. Well, that's because it's a heading number two. The outline level is level two. But for this main heading, the outline level is level one as you would expect for a heading number one. Anyway, I'll move across here to um, the next subheading. Make that a heading number two. Increase the font size. And so now I've defined which headings, uh, which paragraphs are going to be specifically incorporated into my table of contents. I'll press Control Home to go to the very start of the document. And what I'll do is I'll go to Page Layout and insert a special type of um, hard page break, uh, next page section break. All of this is now section two. And my first page is section one. So I've created a new page and I've also created um, a new section as well. So I've got my paragraphs defined. I just click on references. 
click on table of contents any one of these will do make the font size a little bigger and that's my table of contents now um, I can edit it in a number of ways I'll just click on that page number three press enter a couple of times right in the middle there here is another sub heading but this time I don't have to highlight it I can just click anywhere in it in that paragraph just do a right mouse button click click on paragraph from the pop-up menu outline level number two I'll click OK might make it a little bigger go to home just so it's consistent in size there it is there I'll double click on um, that table of contents I'll click on update update the entire table and now my table of contents will include just make that a bit bigger will include the new subheading that I've just entered so this is how you make a table of contents